Shalom. This lesson is about the day assignment. But the day assignment is not order for us to keep. It's just a day of remembrance. So let's get the understanding of the day assignment. The day assignment is on the 23rd of the second month. This is the story of the day assignment. Trifon prepared war against Simon and Maccabees and captured Simon's brother Jonathan. Trifon was a Greek king in 144 BCE. 1 Maccabees 13 and 1. Go ahead. 1 Maccabees chapter 13 verse 1. Now when Simon heard that Trifon had gathered together a great host to invade the land of Judea and destroy it. The people of Israel was in great fear. 1 Maccabees 13 and 2. And saw that the people was in great trembling and fear. He went up to Jerusalem and gathered the people together. Simon reminded Israel the great acts they did for the law and the sanctuary. 1 Maccabees 13, 3 through 6. And gave them exhortation, saying, Ye yourselves know what great things I, my brethren, and my father's house have done for the laws and the sanctuary. When they remembered that, their spirit was lifted up. 1 Maccabees 13 and 7. Now, as soon as the people heard these words, their spirit revived. Simon gathered all the men of war to guard the city of Jerusalem. 1 Maccabees 13 and 10. So then he gathered together all the men of war and made haste to finish the walls of Jerusalem, and he fortified it round about. Trifon was getting ready to invade the land of Judah. And he had Jonathan, Simon's brother, in custody. 1 Maccabees 13, 12, and 13. So Trifon removed from Ptolemais with a great power to invade the land of Judea. And Simon was with him in war. But Simon pitched his tent in Adia over against the plain. Trifon won a ransom for Simon's brother, Jonathan. 1 Maccabees 13, 15 through 16. Whereas we have Jonathan, thy brother, in hold, it is for money that he is owing unto the king's treasure concerning the business that was committed unto him. Wherefore, now send a hundred talents of silver and two of his sons for hostage, that when he is at liberty, he may not revolt from us and he and we will let him go. Simon sent money for his brother, but Trifon didn't let him go. 1 Maccabees 13 and 19. So he sent them the children and the hundred talents, howbeit Trifon dissembled, neither would he let Jonathan go. So they was getting ready for war. 1 Maccabees 13 and 20. And after this came Trifon to invade the land and destroy it, going round about by the way that leadeth unto Adora. But Simon and his host marched against him in every place wheresoever he went. Trifon tried to sneak attack, but was stopped by a great snow, and most of his men died. First Maccabees thirteen twenty one and 22. Now... They that were in the tower sent messages unto Trifon to the end, that he should hasten his coming unto them by the wilderness, and send them victuals. Wherefore Trifon made ready all his horsemen to come that night, but there fell a very great snow, by reason whereof he came not. So he departed and came into the country of Galilee. After the snow, Trifon stopped at Barsima and killed Jonathan, Simon's brother. Trifon killed Jonathan in 142 BCE. 1 Maccabees 13 and 23. And when he came near to Bascoma, he slew Jonathan, who was buried there. Simon buried his brother. 1 Maccabees 13, 25 and 28. Then sent Simon... And took the bones of Jonathan, his brother, and buried them in Modin, the city of his fathers. And all Israel made great lamentation for him and bewailed him many days. Simon also built a monument upon the specular of his father and his brethren and raised it aloof to the site with hewed stone behind and before it. Then Trifon killed King Antiochus. And made himself king in 1 Maccabees 13, 31 and 32. 
Now Tryphon dealt deceitfully with the young king Antiochus and slew him, and he, re he reigned in his steed and crowned himself king of Asia and brought a great calamity upon the land. Simon went to war with Ganza and built a machine to get over the wall. 1 Maccabees 13, 43, and 46. In those days, Simon camped against Gaza and besieged it round about. He made also an engine of war and set it by the city and battered a certain tower and took it. And they that were in the engine leaped into the city, whereupon there was a great uproar in the city. Insomuch as the people of the city rent their clothes and climbed upon the walls with their wives and children and cried with a loud voice, beseeching Simon to grant them peace. Simon destroyed the tower in Jerusalem and cleaned it and kicked Esau out and took back Jerusalem. First Maccabees thirteen forty eight and 50. Yeah, he put all uncleanness out of it and placed such men that as would keep the law and made it stronger than it was before and built therein a dwelling place for himself. The 23rd day of the second month is when Simon took back Israel. First Maccabees 13, 51 and 53. And entered into it the three and twentieth day of the second month in the hundred and seventy seventy and first year with thanksgiving and branches of palm trees and with harps and cymbals and with vials and hymns and songs because there was there was destroyed a great enemy out of Israel. And when Simon saw that John, his son, was a valiant man, he made him captain of all the hosts, and he dwelt in Gazara. And that's the day of Simon. Shalom. Shalom.